Hi everyone, let's take a closer look at how you and your colleagues can share and collaborate on files inside the post tab of a channel of your staff or PLC team. So here I am in my demo staff team inside the general channel in the post tab. And to start sharing and collaborating on a document, I'm simply going to come down to the very bottom of my screen and underneath the new message text box, I see a paperclip icon for attach. When I click on it, notice that I have a variety of choices from where I can pull files into Teams. For instance, I can browse recent documents that I've been working on either in Teams or in my OneDrive. Let's go back to that paperclip icon. I can browse teams and channels. This means that I can actually browse the files or the document libraries of the team that I'm currently in. If I click this up arrow and I click it again, notice that I can even access other teams that I'm a member of or that I own. And I can browse through the files tabs of the channels in those teams. Going back one more time, Notice that I can also pull from my OneDrive, which is connected to my team, or I can upload a document from my device. In this case, for this demonstration, I'm going to click the paper clip and I'm going to select recent and I'm going to select a PowerPoint that I've recently been working on and upload that as a copy. Now, before I officially post this to the post tab, I'm going to actually enter in a message for my entire team. And I'll go ahead and either click enter on my keyboard or click on the paper airplane icon in the bottom right corner to officially post this to the stream of the post tab inside my general channel. Now, there are two very important things to keep in mind when you are sharing and collaborating on files or documents inside the post tab of a channel in your staff or PLC team. Number one, when you share a file, such as I've uploaded this particular PowerPoint, this document becomes accessible and editable by all members of the team who have access to this particular channel. The other thing to consider is that a copy of this file is actually stored inside the team. It actually lives inside the files tab of this particular channel. So here I've clicked on the files tab inside the general channel and you can see that PowerPoint when it was last modified in this case uploaded and who it was modified by or uploaded by, in this case, myself. Let's go back to the post tab to talk about collaboration. Now that this document has been shared in the post tab, all the members of the team who have access to this channel can edit and access this document. So I'm going to simply open this document by clicking on it. And I want you to notice that this particular PowerPoint is going to open in a PowerPoint interface right inside of Teams. So I don't have to leave Teams to actually edit and collaborate with my colleagues on documents and files. Now I can see that one of my colleagues, Liam, is already inside this document. Notice that he is editing slide one and I can even click go to location to see what he's been editing. Now, while we collaborate on this document, we can also have an ongoing conversation by clicking the conversation button. A side panel opens up for a side chat and here I can go ahead and I could direct a question at my colleague who is currently co-editing this file with me. Once my colleague and I have finished our collaborative work, I can simply come up to the top and click close. I will be returned to the post tab and two things to point out is that any changes made to this document will automatically be saved and the updated version of this document is stored inside that files tab of this particular channel that we were working in. Notice as well 
that any comments made in a side conversation also appear nested as part of this original conversation post. 